Hey everyone, Brian Charles from Red River. Today I'm going to show you how to do some quick edits directly from the browser in Microsoft Stream. In the Stream portal, when you've clicked on a video that you've uploaded and you're the owner of, or you're an admin and you've enabled admin mode in the top right, you'll have additional options for Microsoft Stream videos. Clicking on the ellipses, you'll have some of the things that we talked about before, like download video, uh, but you'll also have things like trim video. Inside of trim video, you're able to cut out white noise at the beginning and the end of your recordings without downloading it and uploading it into a different program. So if I wanted to take away the first few seconds, I can go ahead and do that and click save, and I never have to download. Something else nice about Microsoft Stream is it can auto caption your videos that are uploaded in, into the platform. And that transcript that's pr provided is completely searchable. So if there was an extra long meeting that you were in, but there was a specific part that you wanted to go to, you can simply come into the search, look for those keywords, and it'll find it for you. When you Time. click on the keywords, uh, it'll we, we... skip the video to that part in the in it'll skip the video to that part that's important to you. Now Auto captions are great, but a lot of times they're not the most accurate things. Directly from the pool, you have the ability to change that captioning and make it more accurate if the machine learning didn't quite pick it up correctly. You can simply click on edit, change the words around, and then hit save. We've come up with That'll a go ahead and change the captions in the video as well as in the transcript. If you'd like to make bulk edits to the captions and transcript, click on the ellipses go into your video details and on the right you can download the file and modify it in a different application you can upload it back you can upload the file back in and even upload different languages if you wanted to have captions um, to make the video more accessible to people inside of your organization okay that's it for today remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week